Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming my Colourpop Ultra Matte, no, Colourpop Ultra Satin, what are these called? Colourpop Ultra Satin Lips. This was highly requested and you guys have been waiting for ages and I'm sorry, I'm sorry for making you wait. But hey, we have two videos, so I'm going to be filming this one first. I decided to split the video up into two videos, so Ultra Mattes and Ultra Satins because I didn't want it to be a 20 minute long video. If you're watching this, then the Ultra Matte video has already been put up. So check that one out if you guys want to. I've got about seven shades. If you guys want to see what these look like on me, then keep watching. So the first color I want to swatch is Marshmallow. Light purple lavender color. These were all requested shades by the way. So this is interesting. The person who requested this, were you just messing with me? Because it looks kind of crazy on me. <laughs> it is nice and comfortable, but personally, I prefer long-lasting lip colors. So this kind of moves around. It's transferable, so you know, I probably won't get much wear out of this one. So once again, this is Marshmallow. It's covered my whole face with some concealer. Next up, we have Echo Park. It's really smooth and creamy. Like, it just glides right on. It's a pretty color. It's like a peachy pink. I probably wouldn't wear it. Actually, let's be real. I wouldn't wear the Ultra Satin Lips out because they are a satin finish. Um, and I'm already getting it on my teeth, you know, after doing that lip thing. It doesn't dry down, so you've just got that lipstick feel. And I feel like I would constantly be checking if it's Smeared. So yeah, once again, this is Echo Park. We have Point Zero, which was another requested color. This one looks pretty. It's like a muted brown type of shade. If you guys have the Ultra Satin Lips, let me know how you wear it. Like, how do you stop it from going everywhere? How do you stop it from smearing on your face? I mean, I know that little trick of getting it out from the inside of your mouth. But I feel like I just have so much more confidence when I'm wearing liquid lipsticks with that actually dry matte. I really like the shade. Anyways, um, I thought that it looked similar to what I have. This one here is Flirt by Huda Beauty. This one here is Point Zero. So those are kind of similar if you're looking for something. Flirt is a little bit warmer, a little bit darker. I do really like this color a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's more of my favorite so far because, yeah, you know, you saw the purple one. Once again, this is Point Zero. Next up, we have Dopey. They all are really consistent with the formula though. It's really super creamy. They just glides right on like a dream. I feel like Dopey is a lot more pink in person than it was online. I thought it was going to be really a bit darker. It looks like a mid-tone pink. I thought it was going to be like more of a mauve tone. It's pretty. And yeah, once again, this is Dopey. Next up, we have Frick Frack. Frick and Frack. That's an interesting name. Frick and Frack. You know what I just realized? I don't even have you guys zoomed in. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Actually, that didn't really make much of a difference, so I don't really feel so bad. But here you go. Why am I so green? This looks a bit better. I just fixed my lighting. And next up, we have Frick Frack. Frick and Frack. Frick and Frack. My eyes are just throwing me off because they're pretty full on. I chose the wrong day to wear pink glitter eyeshadow. But yeah, this is freaking Frack. I actually do really like this color, maybe with like a neutral eye. A very light, very shade. I like it. Once again, this is freaking Frack. Next up, we have, what is Tulips? This is called Tulips. I'm liking Tulips. Tulips is this one here, and the one next to it is Love Bite. So Tulips is a bit more dark and a bit more purple. Love Bite is a bit more berry. Honestly, on my hand, they look pretty much the same, but you can kind of see the different undertones. So yeah, once again, this is Tulips. 
tulips. Tulip, tulips. So last one that we have is called Tansy. Tansy, it's purple. It's brown. What am I on about? So far from it. Look at my eyeballs. I thought this might be similar to cork by Dose of Colors, so I swatched them side by side. This lighter one's cork, the darker one is whatever this is called, tansy. So they're not really dupes, cork is a lot lighter. They're just they're side by side. Final verdicts. I do like the way that this applies, I like the consistency, I love the colors. I don't know how you would wear this, like let me know how you guys wear this down in the comments because I honestly have no idea because I just see it as being a mess, like I will accidentally touch my face, I will get makeup on my clothes, on my hands, you know, so let me know. I should probably just try out wearing this though, I really like this colour, I like it and I like the whatever that light brown was before, 0, .0. I love 0, .0. so yeah. Once again this is Tansy. Those are my final thoughts about it. Um, I do love the consistency, I love the colours. Um, I just I'm not really so sure about the formula but only because I don't know how to wear it. I'm so used to wearing liquid lipsticks. If you guys enjoyed the video then give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of these ultra satin lip colours and if you have a favourite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! If you guys want to watch me swatch these. If you guys want to see what these look like on me then keep watching. Hey mom. Good, what are you doing? I need to use oil. Why am I acting like I'm brand new? You too. You too. Talk soon. Bye. Love you, oh, I love you too, mom. Bye. 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 Okay, that was my mommy. <laughs>